is my 51st birthday. So I'm wearing pigtails today because I am rejecting my age. <laughs> and I decided that I don't want to be 51. So I'm just going to be 12. <laughs> so anyways, um, I have a few things to talk to you about. But uh, I wanted to tell you that, like George, he got me a Pandora bracelet for my birthday, but it's not here yet because, of course, the mail system is screwed up. So I'm hoping to get it maybe next week. Who knows? We'll see. But I got another birthday present that was totally unexpected and I'm so happy about. And don't say anything about the social distancing stuff because, you know what? my house my rules <laughs> so anyway guess what i got for my birthday guys hi <laughs> i got my little girl here and my other little girl would have come but we thought she was working and my bad yeah her bad i could blame her so <laughs> tia's here guys is that awesome see we're kind of social distancing <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm so happy. Apparently, George has some sort of a surprise for me tonight. Um, and guess who else is here, guys? My pup, grand puppy Diesel's here. And uh, I'll end up knocking this over if we get him up here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that, yeah, he's gonna be a good boy. But I have a little video clip, right? So, here you go. You ready? Okay, ready? Go! Zoom! Bird. <laughs> okay, so what's in our cup? Coffee. Coffee. And then I, I got it in my my new cup that I designed. <laughs> and then I'm going to be sending out to special people. Special and people? <laughs> <laughs> I've already sent out one. And so I'm going to be sending out a couple more. Yeah, so there's that. Okay, all right. Number one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say a big congratulations to Gary from the Urban Yarn Barn. Yay! He reached his thousand subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. And then we as a crochet community are doing a um rah rah spoomba <laughs> whatever it's called we're doing a rah rah for have a yarn with charlie we are trying to get her up to her thousand because she is in the process or getting ready for dyeing her hair purple and if you've seen her hair it's as long as tia's and really thick. So we are all really excited to see what her hair is gonna look like purple. So hop on over to her channel and give her some yarny love and subscribe to her channel. And hopefully, like she's really close, like really close. I can't remember, what did I say here? I don't know if I, oh, ha, uh, no, 
I don't have it here. But I know she's really close. I just can't remember how close, but very close. So go on over and go give Gary some love too. Okay, go and say his congratulations to Gary for getting his thousand. And he got it in like six months because he's that good. You know, he I is... love the name Gary. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he is adorable. Him and his husband are just, they're so cute together. You know, they're just, oh. And Gary is so talented. So talented. So, yeah. So, go on over to their channels and give, some, blah, 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 give them some love. Oh, and I have a little message for Charlie's daughter, Jasmine. Um, in one of her, one of the videos that she did not too long ago, um, there was apparently a story that Jasmine was not talking about. And I, so I've got a little note here that says, um, you know, it's okay, Jasmine. It, oh, I know it was about her popcorn incident. She, uh, or popcorn, no, soup, it was soup. Those packages of uh, ramen soup, she put in the microwave and it burned and filled the house with smoke and everything because she didn't realize that that kind of soup wasn't supposed to go in the microwave. So here's a story for you, Jasmine. This is my chicken story. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> okay. So listen close, sweetheart, <laughs> because even adults do it. More than once. More than once. <laughs> so when I was living with her dad, uh, and we were married still, I decided that I was going to make a Thanksgiving turkey. Her uncle came over, and um, <laughs> I took the turkey out of the oven, and I put it beside the stove and I cooked it in a Pyrex pan so not thinking I decided I was going to make gravy <laughs> so I ended up uh, putting the Pyrex pan right on top of the element don't ever ever do that I was sitting there trying to mix the gravy and the next thing I know, the whole thing exploded in my face. I was so lucky that I didn't lose my eyes. But thank God I wore glasses back then. And the whole thing exploded. And the glass, like I had grease and gravy and everything all over the place. All over the floor, all over the stove, all over me. I had hot grease all over me. And the glass... <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> the glass embedded itself into our turkey. Oh, no. Yeah. I let out a scream. Her dad came running down the hall, and her uncle came running down the hall to see what was happening. And I was standing there, like, as still as I could, because there was hot stuff everywhere. And her uncle was laughing his butt off, <laughs> thinking, you know, you're an idiot. <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't put Pyrex on a freaking heat element because you could put it in a 500 degree oven. I didn't know you couldn't put it on an element. But what I found out later was that the element is such a concentrated area that it heats up one part of the Pyrex and just... So that was one time. Another time, I have really bad problems with chicken, I swear to God, because, you know, I, I exploded a chicken in the oven. I don't know how I did it. It just <laughs> happened, you know, and there was, oh I, oh, I remember what I did. Stupid Pyrex again. I didn't know, like when you have hot Pyrex in, in the oven, don't ever ever put cold water in that Pyrex pan mm -mm. because it will explode and again I, I 
I forgot to put water in the turkey, like in the bottom of the pan for the turkey. And I thought, oh my God, my, my turkey's going to get dried out. So I thought, oh, I'll just put water in the pan. It went, the temperature dropped so fast, the Pyrex exploded. And I had chicken guts and everything all over the inside of my oven. I, again, I was covered. Oh. Dana, this is why I don't do, I don't like chickens. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's a thing. So there you go. There you have it, sweetheart. Don't feel bad. We all do it, you know, and it's a learning curve, right? The problem is, is I didn't learn. <laughs> I swore I would never use another Pyrex pan in my life. And then a couple years ago, what did my sister do? Just because of that, she went and bought me a Pyrex pan. <laughs> I haven't blown it up yet. <laughs> I'm thinking I maybe have learned something. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. <laughs> well, I think us making fun of you for it all this time, oh. I think it's engraved in your brain now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... I was watching Sandy from Left is Right Crochet's video this morning, and I just, I, she's got a black eye. <laughs> and she's trying to say it was from a little procedure that she had done. She had a mole removed or something, and the needle for the freezing blackened her eye. Then she proceeded to say that she was trying a new, uh, new clogging dance. Um, from the uh, uh, crochet clogger, the clog clogger that crochet. I'll put her link down below too. Isn't that alcohol? What? I don't know. I'm talking about clogging, like wearing clogs and dancing. Yeah. I personally think that Sandy was clogging while she was dancing, and the clog came off and hit her in the eye. That's my theory. I think I think she kicked herself in the eye. But, you know, that's just my theory. Conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Yeah. So there you go. And she was wearing this shirt and she was showing off her ta-tas. <laughs> I was laughing because if any of you guys know about the live that I did, uh, the Zoom, was it the, no, the, it wasn't a Zoom chat, it was a stream yard that we did with Darla and Teresa and, and everybody. Uh, I didn't realize that it was being recorded to go on to her YouTube channel and I was exploding cookies. Everything explodes with me. I don't know. Expl it was exploding cookie. It went down my shirt and I was pulling my shirt down trying to get in there to get the cookie. It was a bad scene. But anyway, <clears throat> so I don't feel so bad because now both Sandys have been showing their tatas on camera. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Slow it down. Slow my roll. Breathe. And out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's all I've got written down now. Now I have some things to show you. I'm hoping you can see this. To me, it looks like it's shadowed, but this was in my um, last video. It's another cardigan that I made. Same kind of sleeves, but they're shorter sleeves. The, the cuff. Um, this was, I forget, I think it was Premier, Bernat Premier Tweed, I think it was, Black Tweed. Um, so, yeah, so I made that one. This one's a small, but you can't really see, I don't know if you can, ew, ew, they're butt to butt. What? Ew! <laughs> She's got bugs on her. They're mating on me. <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> Not like a good sign. I don't know! Wow. Am I going to find myself a mate one day, like soon? I don't know. That, that was weird. <laughs> anyway. Uh, trying to get it closer so you can see the Tweety part. The Tweety part! <laughs> so there it is. You can see the color... <laughs> the colors of Tweed in there. Um, it's like green and pink and orange and purple no not purple 
uh, yeah, green, pink, yellow, red, lots of different colors. And God, me being up so close, it's like, ah! <laughs> so yeah, so it's really pretty. It's another campfire cardigan that I worked on. Okay, you can take it away now. <laughs> okay, so another couple of things that I made. This is gonna be really hard to see. Also, my dog is breathing heavily. So yeah, just that's ignore. Diesel. Hey, don't drool on my yarn, man. <laughs> go, go, go play. Go lay down. Um, I was talking about something <clears throat> that I was making. It's called a blanket, um, a blanket sweater. And uh, it's kind of hard to see it, but anyways, it's a big piece. It's like. big, 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 <laughs> big, big. It's like a blanket. <laughs> it's like a, a like a big blanket. Maybe I'll try it on in the video. <laughs> I'll I'll put it on. It's gonna be hot, but I'll put it on. So yeah, so it's like really big and long, and it's oh, kind of goes like that. But Give it's us like a spin. Really, it's really heavy. <laughs> like really, really heavy. <laughs> but it's like so warm because you can wrap yourself up in it. Right? And I was thinking about putting arms on it, but I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet. But yeah, so so that's the big blanket sweater. Ugh, okay. Okay, another thing I started making, I haven't finished yet because once again I ran out of yarn. It's going to be Darla. She did a, um, a really pretty shirt, and I'll put that link down below. So I started making it. I got half of it done. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. So I got half of it done. I still have to work on the other half, but I ran out of this. It's um, Red Heart, I think it's Super Saver. And yeah, so I got half of it, half of it finished. And then the other yarn that I used was Ice Yarns. And the color is 60439. It's uh, Monaco Orchid Salmon Black and Pink. And, ooh. So, I use that and I'll tell you something though this is not very soft yarn but no, it's, not. it's not but I'm hoping that when it's washed it will be soft it reminds me of like those knitted uh, dish, oh, towels. dish towels yeah I was gonna say face cloth <laughs> <laughs> although that would probably make a good face cloth because yeah. it would be scrubby so yeah, so I used that. So this may not have been the best, oh, the best um, plan, but the other one's really so, soft. It doesn't feel so bad together. Yeah, like so. I'm, I'm hoping that when it's washed, it'll soften up and it should be okay. But so I am making it, Darla. I just need the yarn. Yeah, I just need my yarn. Oh, there goes my yarn ball. <laughs> Runaway ball. Runaway ball. Uh, the. Another thing I'm making is I made one of these last year because um, Seta had made it. Oh, I can't remember the, the name of the person that did it, but I will put the link down below. So it's uh, kind of like a there. Oh, good. There you can see it. Um, so it's too short, though. I had a plan, and the plan I don't think is going to work. So now i got to think of another plan. Story of my life. Kiddos to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so anyways, the last one I made, I just did like a, a little loopy here, and then it was open. And then there was a little loopy at this end, so it was kind of like a peekaboo shoulder. But this one, I decided to do a full-on shoulder, um, just so I don't have to worry about what shirt or bra I'm gonna have to wear underneath it, you know. But 
again have to figure out what I'm gonna do and the yarn I used was um, the coastal cotton was it the coastal cotton no sorry the cream darn it I forgot the tag inside <laughs> I meant to She'll bring it leave in. it right here yeah <laughs> yeah but it's uh, the new yarn that's from Michaels it's cozy cotton or comfy cotton or I don't know. anyway yeah I'll leave it right here so that's another one that I'm working on and then uh, you know the shawl that I made before the fiber spider uh, granny ripple shawl I I liked it so much that I decided to make another one and this one I'm making from the uh, Heartland and the color is Sequoia it's a beaut it's not showing up properly on camera right now but it's this beautiful brown browny orangey color like a burnt orange yeah it's got like brown with burnty Ooh. orange color in it it's really pretty so I started the beginning oops the beginnings of that so that's the neck and it's gonna be really long so I got about 10 balls of this so I'm really hoping to get that finished because it's gonna look so and this is a lot um, uh, lighter than the other yarn I used so this is gonna be more of a spring fall one and the other one's more of a winter it's been five days since I bought yarn I must buy yarn yes it's hey you guys all get it right it's an addiction. It doesn't make sense. It's because you don't crochet. Of course I don't. So you don't understand. It's like you buying all these different trucks. Well, yeah. hang on. That's totally different. <laughs> no, it's not. It's you it have is. an addiction. Because I want the next best thing. Yeah. Well, we want the next best thing in yarn. <laughs> so I went to Hobium. Hobium? There's it. It's Hobium, right? I can never remember if I buy from Hobium or Hobie. I'm pretty sure it's Hobium. Uh, and I, okay, I never buy these, but I saw, I've been looking for a yarn that has this color in it. And I have, unless I buy a thin yarn, I'm not gonna find this color in it. And if I can, it's usually, <coughs> excuse me, in, <coughs> Okay. Wow. Hold that thought. <clears throat> okay, it's usually in wool. So this one? Yeah. So this one, isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm so happy. I just I've been wanting this kind of yarn for a long time. So this is the Cotton Kings. And I don't use cotton. Hello. I'm not a cotton person, but for some reason I guess I'm starting to get do cotton. Okay, hang on. This one is, what's the color on this one? I don't know. Oh, it's color number three. <laughs> oh, these are the Twirl Nation, 100% cotton. There's 800 meters in this. Color nine. And that's color nine. <laughs> and then I got this one too. It's black and white. Like my so. soul. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, and this is color 15 so what I'm planning on I'm keeping this one and these two I'm going to give to my niece because my niece uses this kind of yarn and she's really good at using like thinner yarns and making beautiful stuff I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet but I just knew I wanted it it may stay on my shelf and I may just like look at it every once in a while I don't know we'll see <laughs> so, so yeah um i do have some other yarn coming uh so that i can i've got like five projects on the go because i have no yarn and i'm hoping to get them done soon god i'm gaining so much weight Ugh. is anybody else gaining weight during through this quarantine thing you know like i'm just i feel like i'm exploding just Again, exploding. 
Oh, I just feel like I'm getting so big. <gasps> oh my god! And then you got your boobs done, and then like pff, again. I know, right? Exactly. What she's talking about for those of you that are brand new. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I uh, I had a breast reduction quite a few years ago, and I went down. I went from like a double, almost triple D to a um, a large B. Well, they grew back. What are they? They're double. A B? They're, no, they're double D now. But they're. No, they're not. They're these, bigger than that. Well, I don't know. They. They're yeah. They're they're like. They're a triple D. No, I don't know. They're big. <laughs> but, but yeah, the damn things grew back. It pissed me right off. I went through all that pain and suffering and scarring for nothing. So there's that. How do we get on to talking about my boobs? I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a burnt neck. I can feel it. Because I usually have my hair down. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> Besides your butthole, that's the only place that doesn't see sun too much. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my God. So it's a beautiful day today. Not, No clouds in the sky. We're going to go know. for a walk. Yeah. Is anybody else gaining weight during quarantine? <laughs> I have foot issues. Yeah. And yeah. I just have issues. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> um, yeah, um, we've been actually taking the dogs out for walks and stuff now. <laughs> I'm, uh... <laughs> you want to see my grand puppy? Oh. Look at this. Can you see him? Yeah. That's my grand puppy. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I guess that's it, guys. So happy birthday to me. And uh, I will have some video footage of our dinner. Surprise dinner. Don't know. It's going to be good. Okay. If you say so. I don't know. Tia's in on the, on the whole thing. So I don't know what's happening. I'm a little nervous because, you know, it's George. So, but he never does anything like that. Like he doesn't do any surprises for me. He's, he, I don't know if he's afraid of disappointing me or what, but he never, um, I have to pick out my own presents, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, cause yeah, he doesn't. So this is big. This is huge. And I made a strawberry rhubarb pie. He does not eat. Remember our, our 20 questions or tw however many questions it was? He doesn't eat fruit pies. He ate my pie. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's, let's rephrase that. <laughs> he ate my fruit. <laughs> he ate my cherry pie. <laughs> Oh my, why is it whenever I get together with her? It's like, oh man. Okay. It's my energy. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, he ate my rhubarb cherry, <laughs> rhubarb strawberry pie and he actually liked it. He was, he was, he was kind of grimacing a little bit because of the rhubarb. If it had been all strawberry, then he would have been fine. But, uh, oh, geez, now I'm just laughing my guts out here. Um, <laughs> there goes my makeup. <laughs> the one day I wear makeup. <laughs> At least you're laugh crying, not crying crying. <laughs> That'll be later. <laughs> okay, I'm going now. We're going now. So, I'm actually going to put some footage here of our walk. We went for a walk and I took some footage and, and whatnot. And then you can kind of see the waterfront of Nanaimo. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, because I, I put videos way back when I first started my channel, but I haven't done anything lately. So, here you go. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I love you all. I miss you guys terribly. I'm sorry I haven't been on. I've just I've had things going on. So anyway, 
Okay, so we're going to go, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Ah. <laughs>blanked it <laughs> so I am going to be giving away yeah you probably guessed it and what is this you may say watch out <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa, geez. laughs> I was like an umbrella this is a swift a swift swift a swift why are you looking at me I don't know <laughs> anyway so, for those of you that don't own one, guess what? You could be the winner. Um, I mentioned this in my other video that I bought this thinking that I was going to use it. And then I found out that you can't really get Hanks in acrylic yarn. Yeah. So, this is brand new, never been used. And I would like to give it to some, hello puppy, <laughs> I'm getting a nose bump. Uh, I would like to give this to someone that is going to use it. So, you have to be 18 years or older. You have to be subscribed to my channel. And you have to say happy birthday <laughs> in the comments. Actually, there you go. Our secret word for the giveaway will be happy birthday. Okay, so leave your comment down below. Make sure it says happy birthday. And uh, hopefully soon we will find out who is going to be the awesome winner of this Swift. Knocks me <laughs> out. Um, so I am going to give you guys to how many months, days are in this month? 30 or 35? <laughs> I think it's 31. I should know this. It's my birthday month. Okay. Last day of the month is the day that I am going to 31. Draw. 31. On it's May 31st. A, it's a Sunday. Sunday, May 31st. I am going to do the draw for this Swift. Okay. So make your comments down below. Don't forget. Say happy birthday. And we will talk to you guys later. Ciao. Bye.